Hello. So in this quick tip tutorial, I wanted to show you guys that how we can use BF track data in After Effects. Now many times when you export data from BF track to After Effects, what happens is it does not align. The, the camera, the tracking data does not align with your footage and uh, that creates a problem. It can be frustrating when you have deadline. So yeah, uh, let's take a look at. So what I did, I took I took this footage, right, and I created a comb. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to import a camera from BF Track, and this is my camera from BF Track, and it also brings solids, right, which is tracking data. And uh, let me just rename it. So cam a what I'm gonna do I'm going to double click and this is what we can see uh, this is a tracking data and uh, you know it's like uh, uh, tracking data is basically here imported as null tracker and alright so we don't really need these null trackers or these objects right we all we need is camera shape so control C and paste it here right and <clears throat> now what I want to do is I want to see if my camera is accurate is my, if my tracking data is accurate or not so what I'm gonna do is go to layer new and text Right. I'm going to type right. and also let's make it 3D and press P. We don't need animation and zero zero out the position and also less oriented. So, yeah, like this. So there's 90, and maybe like this. All right. And double click on text, and let's keep it maybe 21. All right. And I'm just going to add a shadow effect. It has nothing to do with tracking, just so you know, but I'm just adding it. Shadow. Oh, excuse me, drop shadow. And give it a distance. Reduce opacity. And softness. And now, if I play, you hit cache. It is cached, and you, if I play now, you can see text. All right, it is definitely not aligned properly, and uh, it is what you call wobbly. So we have to fix it. So it is really easy. All you have to do is select your camera ship, press U, and all these attributes will be shown, which are animated and the keyframes will be shown now how to do this is select all your attributes okay so that it will select all the keyframes right the whole keyframes on timeline and then just go here and drag until you should see the last keyframe okay now press and hold alt click on last keyframes and just drag it in just reposition them and again now align them first keyframe on the first one of your first uh, frame of your footage and the last keyframe on the last frame of your footage okay and once you align them with your footage and you know reposition them like this you won't have that 
won't play effect anymore. So let me just cache this and uh, let's see. What and now if I play, you can clearly see my text is aligned properly with ground plane. Okay, with that tracking data. Okay, so if you fix these keyframes by aligning them with your footage, it will fix a problem of uh, tracking data being warply. Okay, so uh, that's what I wanted to clear in this quick tip tutorial. And if you have any questions, please do email. And thank you for watching.